We are beginning to reconceive of narcissism as a spectrum of behaviors and traits united by specific factors, five factors, three factors. There's a debate about the factors, but we are beginning to have a factor, factor view of narcissism. Could be antagonism, self-importance, entitlement, disagreeableness. Um, whichever, ultimately we are going to settle on a list, evidence-based list, verified and, and proven via experiments and studies. But I think we are going there where we are no longer going to talk about narcissism as a personality disorder. We are going to, dis to discuss it in terms of a post-traumatic condition that relies on several factors or brings forth several personality factors. And because it's a condition, not a disorder, it's, in other words, because it's a process, not a disorder, it's a reactive process, it can be attached to any other mental health issue, including mood disorders, anxiety disorders, even eating disorders. You can find narcissism everywhere, in every, even in schizophrenia, in psychotic disorders. We have grandiose psychotic disorders. Narcissism is not a mental health issue. Narcissism is the very foundation and core of personality formation and personal growth. Primary narcissism is what drives the baby to become effectively human. And then we have narcissism, healthy narcissism throughout life. Narcissism is who we are. It can go bad like cells which become cancerous. But we have cells everywhere. And we have narcissism everywhere. And we have narcissism in everything. Self-confidence, self-esteem and mental health issues. So we should get rid of the conception of narcissism as a specific disorder with a list of criteria and symptoms. And if we only get five out of nine, we have the, it, this is nonsense. The spectrum model, which is a dimensional model, is much closer to the reality. And the reality is, if you have a mental health issue, you're going to react to the internal trauma of experiencing your mental illness with narcissism. That is inevitable. Experiencing mental illness exactly like experiencing COVID or chronic illness is a traumatic experience and it's superimposed on trauma a traumatic early childhood. So it's a double trauma. It's a resonant trauma. The, the trauma of being mentally ill resonates with the trauma that had led to the mental illness. It's, a, it's an echo chamber. And to cope with this, we need narcissistic defenses. These are the only defenses we have, even as healthy people. So ultimately, when we have mental illness, we're going to end up being narcissistic. If we are exposed to trauma, complex trauma, we're going to end up being narcissistic. If we get sick physically, we're going to end up becoming more narcissistic. Narcissism is a survival mechanism. It's a positive adaptation in extreme situations. The problem is, when these defenses are leveraged and used in day-to-day -day life, when there's no emergency, no trauma, no mental illness, and no chron chronic illness. That's where the, the trouble starts. And narcissists, uh, need, narcissists need you to manage their internal environment. The narcissist, by definition, is a diet, not, not a person. Narcissist doesn't have a personality, which, which makes the whole concept of narcissistic personality disorder counterproductive, not to say nonsensical. Narcissists have no ego. How can they have a personality? Narcissists borrow your personality. You help them to regulate their, their needs, their cognitions, their emotions, everything their sense of self-worth. And exactly like people with borderline personality disorder who, who also have a false self, the aim of the false self is to hail, to interpolate, to cause people to react in highly rigid and structured forms. 
rendering them in many ways pseudo-narcissist as well. 